In this video, we're gonna learn how to update the firmware of your Pirate MIDI device. So first, let's go to learn.piratemidi.com and you can see here we are on the home page of our support website. We'll go to downloads and firmware updates and then these three blue buttons here let you download the updater app for your particular operating system. So I'm gonna click Mac OS and that is going to download the app for me. Now, I've installed that already and we'll just type in updater here, open the Pirate MIDI updater and here we are. So it says first connect your device to get started. So we need to plug in our USB-C to the bridge and wait for that to be recognized. There it is. Also, I have to join the flexi ports together with a TS or TRS cable, like so. And we'll just select the latest release of the firmware. But if we want to select a different release, we can click this button. You can choose a specific firmware version. And we'll click install. You can see the release notes and everything here. We'll install that and the screen on the bridge will go blank, as you can see there. And we just wait until this percentage marker goes all the way through to 100% and the app tells us that the update is finished. It's very important to not remove the power or the USB during this part of the process. Otherwise, you'll need to do a manual firmware recovery. Now, we've got an installation complete screen. It's now safe to unplug the device. And usually if you're updating from an older version, it's best practice to do a factory reset to avoid any, uh, to avoid any bugs or problems that you might come across between uh, memory structure issues between the previous versions. So we go into the system menu and hit reset. And if you can't do a factory reset using the onboard menus because you're coming from a much older version and the screen isn't working properly, I'll show you what to do next. We unplug the power, hold down foot switch one and plug the power back in. And we'll hold that for eight seconds till the LEDs turn white um, like they are right now. And then we can release that first foot switch and the device will reset. We're just waiting for it to do its thing, for the screen to turn back to normal, for it to reboot, and it will be ready to go with the new firmware version. Thanks for watching.